tutorial on web development with Flask. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Program Knowledge. So before we start today's video, uh, I'd just like to uh, say that a lot of people have been asking me about learning Python, how to learn Python and how to go about applying jobs. So I usually take two to three uh, video sessions, one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions where I talk about how to learn Python, uh, to schedule classes with me, uh, about resume writing, about how to prepare for internships and placements. So if you want to have a conversation with me uh, on a video call, then we can surely set that up. Uh, all the information about contacting me is in the links in the description. So yeah, now that we have uh, got that aside, uh, in the previous video, we talked about how we can add Flask login to our web application to handle user authentication. We were able to set up some pages which can be only accessed if you were logged in and how that session management takes place. We also talked about how you can access the current user that is logged in and handle those attributes. And we also played around with uh, how to have uh, some pages, so for example, a profile to display the current user's name uh, in the profile page. Uh, so in this video, we'll talk about how we can create the main feature of our web application, which is the CRUD, the create, update, delete features. In this video, we'll talk about how to create uh, workouts and how to show them or display them. And in the next video, we'll talk about how to update and delete them. So let's get started. Let's check if our Flask application is up and running uh, since the last video. So. Yes, it's running perfectly well. Let me just check a few other details and it's good. Awesome. Now first, uh, we need to add uh, or have our workout into the database because we have to show them and we have to maintain or keep track of the workouts for each user. So, oops, let me just get rid of this for now. Yeah. So we are going to have another table in our database uh, called as workout where we store some information regarding the workout and then let's see how we can access that or add some information into that workout or create a workout and display them on the page as well. So first let's get started. So we need a class of workout. Simple stuff, nothing new here. We have, we need an ID. Uh, what's next we need so uh, this is a push-ups logger so we need to keep a log of how many push-ups somebody has done so we need push-ups equal to db column and this is going to be an integer as well so let me just copy a bit not going to be a primary key but it's going to be something else so null ab so this cannot be zero. So you have to log at least one push-up. Uh, I think you can definitely do one push-up, so yeah. Next, uh, we want to keep track of when the push-ups were done. So date posted, it's gonna be db column, and this is gonna be db dot date time format. Uh, again, cannot be null because it's gonna be input automatically using default. It's going to be something here so we need from date time import date time yeah and here we're going to have date time dot utc now so i'll be storing the date in utc format and you can change that to ist or any other country or time zone you like awesome now we need a comment so how was the workout was it easy was it tough so you write that here so again, column, but this is going to be text. And again, at least put in something inside that, right? It's good to journal, you know, have a journal where you can track your push-ups and also see the comments because then you see how you're being better as you do it. And next, uh, we want to link our workouts to the user. So we'll have the foreign key. We'll use a simple foreign key, which is connected to the user ID. So user ID is equal to, sorry about that, db dot column, db dot integer, 
now it's foreign key and it's going to be from user table and the id column again cannot be null awesome so now we have our workout uh, table ready now we just want to have uh, or find a way to link our user or keep track of all the workouts under a user so let's see how we can do that so workouts equal to we have to make a relationship so relationship and it's going to be with workout and how are we going to have the relationship so we use something called as the author of the workout and lazy is equal to true so just make it easy for us now we'll see what uh, this means so what we did just we just did here uh, we'll see when we implement the add workout function so now our table is ready our database is ready for workouts to be added now let's set up uh, the UI and the APIs for that. So first we need uh, a way to add a new workout, right? So main, let's create a route for that slash new. And you have to be logged in to see that view. So new workout. And let's just render a template here. So create workout.html so this is just going to be a get where you can just see uh, the page to create a new workout uh, we'll be having uh, another function to handle the post request so I just copy all of this here this is going to handle the post method and this is going to be new workout post uh, instead of rendering this, we want to render this to the main, render it back to the main page because you have added the workout and you want to see it. So this is done. Now we need to add some logic here on the post request, but let's create the HTML page for create workout. So new file, create workout.html. And since I don't want to focus on the code for the workout, let me just paste it and go through this. So first, uh, the same old blocks, uh, uh, inheritance, and then we have some new things here. So we just want to display some flash messages. We'll talk about this later, uh, just but bear with this for now. Uh, we'll have a complete video only on this because they are really important. Then we have a form, so post to new where this fellow function comes into the picture and we have the push-ups, a comment and you're able to add the workout. Now, awesome. Now let's see how what do we do with information. So first we do push-ups request.form.get nothing different, just the same stuff here. We do the same for comment now we need to add this into a database so workout equal to workout oh sorry we need to use the workout class but we haven't imported that yet so let me just import everything now because we are almost at the end so we need the database we need the user workout and all the other things so work out and now let's add our stuff so push ups equal to push ups comment equal to comment and author which we talked about is he going to be the current user so the author here sorry the author here which we talked about the way we link or form a relationship between the user and the workout is through here. So now uh, Flask understands that this workout belongs to this particular user that is logged in. And now uh, simple stuff, we are just going to add it to this DB session and commit. And then we redirect back to the main. Now let me just flash a message here, which we'll talk about later, I'm sorry, that the workout has been added. 
others. And yeah, so now we will be able to add a new workout. Now, uh, before we test that, let's see how we display, how we can display our, our workouts as well. So next, let's have a function or a route called as all where we can see all the workouts and obviously it's going to be login protected and we'll call this user workouts uh, instead of actually redirecting to the index page let's actually index or uh, return this back to user workouts so that the user can see all the workouts and here first we need the user right so user is equal to user dot query dot filter by and we'll be filtering by email so the current user dot email and get the first thing we get so first but let's use first our 404 so if so flask automatically shows a 404 page if the user is not in the database and let's extract all the workouts now so it's going to be user dot workouts so this we are able to do because of this and this so now that we're able to form a relationship between the user and the workout we can directly access this awesome and now let's return render template we'll have an all workouts page made right now where workouts equal to workouts and user equal to user to pass the information awesome now let's head here and do all workouts.html and again copy the code now so we first welcome the user we have a table so we have a table where we show the number of push-ups performed at so the date and the comments so now we access them by workout.pushups workout.date posted uh, with a handy uh, way to display it and comment next we have the edit and the delete button so let's uh, make them hash for now and not worry about them now we'll see this in the next video but yeah so what is happening here what did we all do so first we have a new page which just shows the new form page for creating a workout then when the user sends a post request we get the push up and the comment we create a workout object, add that to our database, commit, uh, flash a message that has been added and uh, return the user back to see all the workouts. And how do we show the workouts now? So we have an all page uh, where we get the user uh, by the current user that is logged in by the email. We get all the workouts and then simply we just display or show all the workouts using Jinja template. Now, let's just confirm that whatever we have done is looking good so that we can see and run it to make sure that there are no mistakes. And by the way, oh yeah, so in the previous video, uh, we had some trouble with the logout function. We had some errors, so this is how to fix it. Somebody in the comments of the previous video also had the same solution, so thank you for that. And yeah, let's see, let's run this and see how, what, how we have done. If we got this right so yeah we haven't where we cannot spell so I cannot spell apparently so where was that yep right here awesome let's try that again and looks like we're good to go let's refresh our page let's sign up again so um, test Sorry, test234 at gmail.com and the password is test234. Sign up. Let's, sorry about that. Let's log in test234 gmail.com and the password is test234. And we have logged in. Awesome. Now let's go to our new workout. Oh, wow. we haven't we didn't change that my bad so we go to base this is where we have our base and so yeah 
I knew we were missing something. So we go to this little guy here to add new workout. Uh, instead of profile, what do we need? We need new workout, right? So let's go to base and add that here. My bad. And I think we're good to go. So we can just close and open this again. Awesome. So we are still logged in. So we are still logged inside test. Let's go to add workout. Uh, I actually did do 20 push-ups today, if you believe it or not. And it was kind of fun. Add workout. And we have an error. So what is the error? Uh, no sustainable workout. Okay, so we made some error here. So workout. There is no table as workout. So let's see what the mistake is here. Everything looks good. We haven't done anything yet. So why does it say no workout table? Uh, so let's see if the table was actually created. So we have a DB browser for that. And yeah. So open database. Let's go to projects. Go to pushups logger. And we got the right here. So yeah, we have this one table. So yeah, we had not created the table. Uh, let's see why that happened. So what we can do here is this. So usually when this happens, uh, I create the tables again. So let's see how we can do that. So again, clear this out. Use Python 3 and give me a minute until I get that. So we're going to create all the tables again and see how that works. So we configure the database and yeah, right here. So we need create app and DB. So from, uh, I keep forgetting the name. We import db and create app and yep, we did that and uh, let's read the database first just to be careful close this and uh, yep we're good to go so sorry about that we have to do this again and yeah let's run this back last run Let's see everything from scratch and make sure we have a database ready. So DB browser, we created the workout table as well. Let's open the database. Projects, PK logger. And yeah, we have the workout table. Awesome. Now we can continue the same work. We sign up with test. Test two three four at gmail.com and test 234 sign up ignore and let's log in test 234 gmail.com and test 234 login awesome now let's add a workout so again the 20 it was kind of fun add workout and here you go so sorry about the html uh, Fiesca, I'm really, really bad at UI, but now you can go to all workouts and, oh my God, slash all, and you can see the workout. So let's add another one. So I did 20 again. So this is a lie. Add workout, and here you go. We were able to add the workouts. We could see when they were performed. And in the next video, when we do update and delete, we're going to definitely fix the HTML as well. So yeah, 
thank you for watching and if you want a one on one session with me on resume writing how to write a good cover letter how to prepare for placements internships and how to learn python for that uh, all the links in the description to contact me can be via email uh, via my phone anything so yeah thank you